If you're a teacher, you're probably also obsessed with school supplies. Today, I'm gonna to share with you seven school supplies that every teacher must have. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Michelle Griffo, and on my channel, I like to share my 11 years of teaching experience with you, as well as all things fashion, lifestyle, and lipstick. If you're new here, please subscribe by clicking that red subscribe button below, and that way every time you hop onto YouTube, you'll see my newest video. Okay, I'm gonna jump in right away showing you my top seven school supplies that every teacher should have. I'm gonna be linking everything I can in the description box down below so you can find them easily if you wanna check them out. Number one is a personal laminator. This is a Scotch brand laminator and it has been with me through thick and thin. I know a lot of schools have these in the teacher's lounge or the resource room, but I prefer to have my own that I can have in my classroom for last minute laminating emergencies. Sometimes the laminator is jammed. I've worked at schools where there was one, only one person that was allowed to actually operate the laminator, so you had to plan ahead. Um, having it in my room or at home allows me to be last minute or just to prep at my leisure. Number two goes to colorful pens. There is something about flare pens that make my heart burst. Now I want to show you. These two are always in competition for being my favorite. These guys are flare pens. They have wonderful ink and vibrant colors. And their runner-up are these, let me grab one, these Ink Joy Papermate pens. Now these guys have more ink than the flare pens and they're just as beautiful. So I'm always constantly grabbing one or the other. Something about, I mean, we're doing a lot of writing as teachers and so having all these beautiful colors to pick from just makes my heart happy. Number three is a personal paper cutter. This guy I've had several years, and again, it kind of goes with the laminator. The fact that you probably have one on campus, but having one in my room makes me be able to prep at my leisure, and there's like last minute things that I need cut in bulk and need a straight line. You really wanna make sure that this is stored in a safe place in your room because it's sharp and you do not want any fingers chopped off. My fourth one is a splurge and I can't lift it, but it's a personal printer and a colored printer. Now I know these are expensive, but here's my thought. Having it in my room gives me two things. One, a lot of times there's a line at the printer that everyone's using and you don't have time and you need something last minute. Two, sometimes that school printer will get jammed and it takes several days for the repairman to get there. So having one in my room is basically for emergencies. Also, there's some times where I want things printed in color, whether it be name tags or awards or even something for centers where color would make it all the better. It is expensive to print things in color and going to Staples or something is tedious, you gotta drive there. So having it in my room is pretty much heaven. Next up are really sharp scissors. You guys, I have probably five of these laying around my classroom and I'll stick a ribbon around them and I can find them at any time. If I have two pairs of scissors, I can never find them. If I have three pairs of scissors, I still can't seem to find one. Having five around my room I can always find one. So what I do is every couple of years I'll buy one or every year buying five at once is kind of a lot. So just slowly start stashing these bad boys. Number six goes to Astro Bright's paper. You guys, this paper makes my heart sing. It makes me so happy. Um, this also, coloring, printing things on beautiful paper versus using colored ink will save you money. So if, again, rewards, name tags, labels, if I'm making bulletin boards. Um, if there's something that I need sent home to the parents that I need them to see, I will print it on color paper. That way it's eye catching. So this is, I mean, you can't beat Astro Bites paper. It's just the best. Number seven, most important, 
and ironically I cannot find it so I'll insert a picture um it's a staple remover a handheld staple remover that way if you have things up on your wall bulletin boards posters student work you can easily remove them without damaging the piece of artworks writing whatever it is it removes the whole bulletin board easily versus those old school clamping ones those I also probably buy too that way I can always find it apparently I'm the person that loses everything now I have a question for you what is your most used school supply that you think every teacher should have leave a comment down below I want to see what your ideas are or was it one of the ones I had on the list like tell me tell me in the comments below what your favorite school supply is Thank you guys for watching my video. Please give it a thumbs up if you agree these are the must-have school supplies. Also, make sure you subscribe. That way, every time you hop on YouTube, you're notified of my newest video. See you later.